I think everybody has heard about GameStop now and what happened there. A hedge fund borrowed stock and tried to short sell it. That means they artificially tried to drive the market value of the stock down after selling it at a high price before and then buying it back at a lower price to then return it to the original owner. Here's the first question I have about that entire situation. How is that legal? In any other circumstance, that is illegal. You don't own the actual product you are selling that is owned by somebody else. You just borrowed that. That's like, I don't know, you borrowing the car from a friend or family member and sell it to a third party. And then after that per party basically had an accident or something like that, buy the car back at a lower price, keep the differential as profit for yourself and then return that car to your friend or family member. First of all, that friend will never talk to you ever. That friendship is over and probably neither will that family member because that is shitty behavior and they can also sue you for it because it's also illegal. But for some reason, it's not illegal at the stock market. And this short selling is exactly what happened to the housing market in 2007 and caused the financial collapse. The financial crisis of 2007 and 2008 was caused by short selling. And it's illegal, which shows that all the financial market regulations and reforms put in place afterwards were not enough. This shit has to be illegal, period. And it's also highly, highly immoral. Yes, yeah, some people will make a lot of money, but thousands, tens of thousands of people lose their livelihoods over something like this. If you manage to tank an entire company and the company will have to declare bankruptcy, thousands of people will be let go. They will be out of a job, they don't longer have any income, they will not longer be able to pay their rent, all of that in the, in the United States with their shitty healthcare system. This also would mean no more health insurance in the middle of a fucking pandemic. So how is this legal again? How is anybody depraved enough to actually partake in an action like this? This just further proves that rich people are sociopaths. Because if you had any empathy, you wouldn't do shit like this. And no, this has nothing to do with the free market. GameStop actually turned a profit last year. They were in the green, not in the red. So there's no reason to say, well, this company failed. If a company fails in the free market because it can't longer turn a profit, okay, let's say, okay. That's fine, but that's not what happened here. This company, like I said, turned profit. They made money. They could pay their employees. And you were willing, in order to make some money for you and your investors, to destroy their company and its employees. Fuck you. Fuck this hedge fund. I'm glad that Melvin's investment group or whatever the name was is bankrupt now we all know how that happened that they went bankrupt redditors got together used the app Robinhood at least most of them did in order to buy stock and drive the market share up leading to the hedge fund losing money instead of making money Great job. Others try to get in on this now and users of these kinds of trading apps have tried to do the same for AMC, Nokia and some other corporations now. Okay, fine. And I love to see uh, the market royalty squeam, to be squeamish and to cry for regulation from the state now after buying off governments 
for decades to stop them regulating the financial industry. Now suddenly when the bourgeoisie gets in, they want regulation. Because this is not the working class. This is not labor. This is the bourgeoisie. The working class is not part of some investing group, even small-time investors. Most people of the working class don't have the money to invest in the stock market. These were, for the most part, people of the middle class. And the capital class is now turning against the middle class. Because the middle class dare to rebel against the capital class. And they say, no, you can't do this. You can't play the same game we are playing. You, you, you can't prove that what we're doing here is basically betting, because that's what Melvin did. They bet on red and got black. They went to the casino and lost all their money. Because that's what the stock market is, a casino, a goddamn casino. And when another neoliberal tells me no it isn't, I'll just point to this story, because this should finally prove it. And what it also should finally prove is the free market is a lie. The free market has nothing to do with actual freedom for the consumer the, or the employee. That has nothing to do with it. We always hear from Republicans why government issued health insurance is a bad thing because people want choice. Yeah, where, the, where, where is the choice here? Seriously, where is it? Because when the small-time investors decided to play the game and to have choice and chose where to invest to, you decided, no, you don't have that right. We make up where you invest in. You can't longer buy GameStock or AMC or whatever. That's out. We decide. We, the rich, the powerful. The free market is not about free choice for consumers or employees. Not even most employers. It's about less state regulation for the capital class, the big owners, the investors, so that they don't have to deal with the state in fashion that would be negative for them. That's what the free market is about. It stems from liberalism, because liberalism as an ideology was a rejection of an all-powerful state. And that is the kind of liberalism, the kind of freedom these people mean when they talk about the free market. They mean the rejection of state interference. They don't mean actual choice for you as a consumer or you as the employee. You as a normal average citizen, you don't have a say. You don't get to decide anything. They get to decide. And if you try to intervene there, they call the ref in after previously sen sending the ref to the sidelines. Just remember that. The next time any conservative or any neoliberal or libertarian tries to talk to you about the free market and how great it is, remember what free market actually means for them. That they never have to pay any consequences for their actions. But that you have. You have to pay for all your mistakes and also theirs. That's what the free market actually means.